love this song. Should I put my hair in the back or in the front? <laughs> I feel it is my sisterly duty to rally Sophia's friends together and give her a girl's night out. Get a little tipsy, no strings attached. She just needs to take her mind off the breakup. And like, should we do shots? I mean, what's the vibe? Oh, yes. Yes. Tequila always helps. I got you. It's a ladies' night and Sophia's yeah. breakup. Yeah. Oh, baby. Cheers. 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 So are you ready to get back out there? Or are you just like waiting it out? I, you know, I don't feel like I have like the confidence like go up to anybody and like say. Did you look in the mirror before you came here? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're beautiful, you're a bombshell. Like, I mean, there's uh, guys looking at you right now. Like, where? No, where? There's where? not. You guys are... Wait. Sophia, he's so cute. He is cute, but he's not looking. Do you have, like, an opening line? Something you can say just to break the ice? What are you doing alone? Very... What? <laughs> what is... Send a messenger to get the vibe. Should I go get right? it? Yes. I'll do it because I love you. I'm not going up there going, like, Hi. No, 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 you got this. This is a bad idea. What is this, The Bachelor? No, 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 please don't, please don't. It's fine. Go ahead. There's no better wing woman for Sophia than me. I have a stunning sister over there, and she thought you were really handsome. I thought I was handsome. Yeah. She did. I can do this. Oh, God, I hope we just didn't see that. You guys, meet the special Hi. gentleman. Hi, how's it going? Hi, Sophia. Eric, nice, nice to meet you. you. So, what are y'all uh, up to tonight? I'm so sorry. They like pulled you. It's a girls' night, and yeah. we're celebrating <laughs> Sophia's breakup. Do you want to talk about it? Oh, or yeah, is, or is it fresh? Is I it... mean, I feel like this is kind of awkward to talk about. Like, is it bad to talk about our exes? No. This is the first time talking? No, that, that, that's actually a, that's a very okay. healthy thing. You're gorgeous. How could someone break your heart? Oh, you know? That was a, I like that. Check mark. Um, Check mark? Yeah, mm. good, good job. Sophia is the worst flirt ever. She has these eyes. She goes, it's all in the eyes, Sistine. That's how you bring them in. I don't have to say anything. I use my eyes. OK? What? What? Did Sistine say something about my eyes? Oh my god, she did. And she touches her hair like every five seconds. No, I'm, I'm a little hot, so it's OK. Does it look better like this or like this? Like Sophia? It looks the same. It looks the same. Did she talk about my hair? Did she say, like, I flip my... Yeah. Gosh, she's... I'm not saying anything. OK, you know what? I might not be the smoothest of them all, but I do end up get a... I have game. I'm pretty ambitious, so I, I have, like, 100 ideas, but I don't know what to commit to. Are you a planner? Oh, yeah. What if I told you I don't use a calendar? Would that give you anxiety? You don't, like, you don't have uh, a book that... Has, like, you don't write down plans? I don't like yeah. people that are back here or like thinking about where they're going next. That's oh, everywhere wow. out here. Everywhere, sorry. Uh, Every uh, uh, you to, I don't fine. know, I don't know. No, so, it's, it's all for a reason. Okay, all right, yeah, <laughs> a good point, right? My podcast is kind of my life right now. We talk about like what we like and don't like in dating. Yeah, like yeah. guys that don't wear socks with their shoes is a red flag. Yeah. Yeah. are you not? I, <laughs> I appreciate my sister and my friends trying to get me out of my head. It was so nice so meeting you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sure. Oh, my God. Or, or hug, see you later, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just not in the right mindset and headspace to be flirting whatsoever. Especially if my sister thinks I have dead eyes. Imagine what I have. <laughs> I actually am still heartbroken. I'm proud of you. You put yourself out there. It's not nice. easy. So, well, cheers to you. Just yeah. Yeah. Cheers to yeah. Sophia. Yeah. Yeah. We're trying. You're doing amazing, sweetie. You are. Yeah. Ooh. I'm so nervous. I'm nervous. I don't know why. Other way? All right. All right. Oh, start. Oh, smell it. What? Smell I can't it. get in. There it goes. No, I can't. Pull it in and then do it. Yay, I got it. Whoa. Hey. Wow. Oh, this is so nice. Mom. Yeah? Mattress is here. All right, Scarlett. Yay. It's fantastic. Oh, it's bouncing. Oh. All right, I'm done. Moved in. Okay, so what I need you guys to do, what? I'm gonna be in charge here. No. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Go downstairs and start bringing up the 300 pounds of clothing we shipped. We've done this song and dance moving in so many times that I think everyone actually understands their assigned roles. Jennifer is going to be the leader. We're gonna make this a home in like literally an hour. She better love me for cleaning this toilet. I like to wipe down surfaces. It really calms me down. Mom, there's a pube in here. Oh God, sister. Whoa. <laughs> so we don't throw it. Oh, it's, it's crystal in there. Oh, it's gonna land on top of it. So 
Sophia, she kind of just complains, but she's good at breaking down boxes. Oh! Sophia! Oh my god, I think my knee just went in and out and popped. And Scarlett actually does nothing. She will disappear as we are moving her stuff in, and we'll have no idea where she is. All right, guys, let's finish up here. Yeah, I'm gonna look for more hangers. By the time she gets back, it's magically all put together. Okay, baby, be safe. Okay. Oh, I don't like buys. This Aww. is, I'll see you in a few days, okay? Oh, group hug. Oh, oh my gosh. Guys. We're missing our little me. No, it can't be the three musketeers as before. I love you girls. I love you guys. Thank you so we're so much. much. We it means so other. much to me that you guys were here. Living in my new apartment, I'm excited, but I'm also really sad because I'm gonna miss my family so much. We'll take care of her. Please do. I love Bye. you. Love Bye, you. Guys. Bye, guys. Why did you start crying? Why did you start crying? Because it's so hard. She's she's all alone. She doesn't even have a chair to sit on. <laughs> I'm just leaving oh. her with a mattress on the floor. She doesn't oh. have crying, please. Oh, she's okay. Hi! Oh my god! Thank you. I don't get to see Scarlett that often when she's at school, but she told us she broke up with her boyfriend, so I'm just going to be there for her as much as I possibly can. Scarlett, you look so good. Really? I haven't seen you in so long. I've missed you. I got kind of bang. You yeah. did cut bangs. She did cut bangs. Good for you. You know when you get bored at looking at yourself? It's just like, I want something to change. How's dating life been? You know, it, it just so much has, you know, happened. And I did go on a couple dates, and they were kind of humps, for Why? sure. Because they're not Joe. Because <laughs> they're not Joe? I wanted to be in a relationship, but he said, there's no way it could really work out. Aww. Joe and I are not together. However, I do still deeply care about him. I don't want him out of my life. And it's hard for me to move on. Stuff. But for right now, he has his life and doing his thing. So I'm sorry they're friends, and then they're exclusive, and then they're boyfriend, girlfriend, and then they're friends. It was almost like they were missing the mark on each other every single time. And it seems like this time around, she wanted him, but it wasn't reciprocated. Best friends forever, but I guess not. It was so overwhelming. I think it's a mix of sadness, scared, and confusion, and I just can't be friends with him. Not only is she losing a guy that she truly, truly cared about, she's also losing a best friend at the same time. And now not having your partner and your person with you anymore is hard. Yeah, I just uh, don't really see myself dating anyone else. Anyone else. I'm a little worried about Scarlett because she hasn't really talked like this about someone. And she's just, like making all these claims that she doesn't want to try anyone else. And she, no one's like Joe. And I feel like she's struggling. Some girl will be so lucky. Sophia, come in. Over. I'm here. Over. What's up? Mm, nothing. Just wanted to see what you were doing. Over. Say over. Over. Over and under. Sistine and I finally found the perfect place right next to each other. And it's just so much fun. We work, eat, sleep, do everything together. I need to have someone nearby that's my family. And if it's going to be anybody, it's definitely going to be my sister, Sistine. It's really not that messy. You act like it's way worse. This is fine. Do you I have so many I candles because you're trying to like mask the smell? OK. First off, see, like you have a book in your fruit bowl right now, and the bananas aren't even in the bowl. <laughs> oh, what's hidden behind this blanket, Sophia? Stop! Lots of crap. Let's see. Nice. You have shampoo, period pads, broken glass in here. Well, no, those are expired perfumes. So throw them away. Honestly, when you cover something, it's gone. Literally, you could put everything out here in there. Stop. It is empty. I know, but I'm gonna forget that it's you in there. Remember. Well, now, now I'm really not gonna remember. Hello. That's my car. There we go. Give me a freaking break. You know what? Your room was decorated way better than mine. Mine's like a sterile hospital. Yes. That's what I was going for. If I ever get surgery again, I'll lay on your couch. She said again. 
That's so sad. Well, it hasn't been the first. <laughs> when is your next appointment, by the way? Mm, I think the end of next week. Are you nervous to see your cardiologist? I'm a little nervous. I was born with a hole in my heart. When I was two months old, I was really sick, throwing up, and the 12 doctors that my mom sent me to, no one could figure it out. And thankfully, with my mom's determination, she found a doctor that found the hole. So I had my first operation, and I lived my life totally fine. One day, when I was 16, I was playing volleyball, and I fainted. It was really scary having to go from living this normal life when I was 16 to having to have my chest sawed open. The moment I found out I needed an operation was one of the most pivotal experiences of my entire life because I never had to consider death before. I think what was really hard during that time was, like, mom was, it rashes all over her body. The best thing for you is just to relax. Dad couldn't even talk to me without, like, crying about it. It's real. It's really traumatizing when you see the people that you think are gonna be, like the ones that should be like, you're gonna be 100% fine, like break down harder than you were. My dad and I never really had any conversation over my heart surgery because he really just didn't know how to deal with it. My dad asked to see and I to go to Oklahoma for his new show and I really want to talk to him about this experience, especially with my appointment coming up. You're so strong. Thank you. Is it happy hour? Yes. Good sir. Yeah. Thank Beautiful. you. Scarlett is home for the weekend, and I'm craving that sisterly bonding time. Cheers. You can't cheers with water. It's bad luck. Cheers. It's a candle. OK. Drink your candle. Oh. I thought it would be fun to, you know, go to some fun restaurant, bar, have a fun night out. Oh, my, that's spicy. Woo! Mama. You know what I've been thinking about? I know this one's a little bit. I want to drink for this because I don't know what you guys are gonna think about oh, this. Oh God, she's gotta take a sip for this. Am I supposed to be somewhere more? Like at 26, like do you think that you're gonna be so much farther ahead of your career and life? That's insane. No one knows what the hell they're doing. Come on. I really want what? you to not put so much pressure on yourself, though. I know a lot you of really do. Every so you, time I talk you, to you, do. you every time out. you start. But you know what it is? I probably people in my position so... are so much farther ahead in their career, and I'm not saying that I'm in a rush, but I feel like. What if the things I want in life don't work out for me? Like what? I think my book is kind of stupid all the time. It's weird because I feel like when you're younger, you have this expectation that when you're 25, you'll be at a certain place. And I'd hoped that my novel was going to be finished in the last year. And there's nothing more in my life right now that I've actually wanted. Because this isn't something that I'm doing with my sister. This is not something I'm doing with my dad. This is something that I'm doing for myself. And it makes it kind of difficult. And sometimes it makes me a little insecure. I do think that putting a timeline on no, your insane. life, it's, like, it's, it's just, by the way, it out, just like, stresses you out oh, so beyond, much more. Beyond. At this point, I decided to not tell Sophia about my deal with MGM because I just don't want her to feel discouraged in any way. I know she already put so much pressure on herself that she feels like she's behind in life. I didn't want to rub anything in her face. Brain-wise, body-wise, looks-wise, we're at our peak, ladies. Going downhill from here. So cheers. I feel like a little tipsy. I do feel it, I'm not gonna lie. I can see in your eyes. Yeah, can you see Sophia? I swear, I'm a lightweight. Another round. You died, choke, choke, choke. You guys can sleep on my couch. I don't want to sleep on your couch. I have contacts. She's 26, she can sleep on a couch. I'm sorry, wait, what was the question? No question. You can laugh, you're gonna start peeing. You are so cringy. Can we get the check? <laughs> Our sisters are tipsy. For tonight's, for tonight's dessert, I sorted a lovely selection of milk bones. How dare you? Sophia, you put some guac on? No, don't. I'm not eating. Sophia, stop. To the test. No. <laughs> You got me in the middle of making tea. Why does it ever? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bye, baby. Bye, bye. She's in pain. Would you guys like some tea? I just finished rushing. I have to plan out all my classes. It's been a long week, but I love it. It kind of smells like Play-Doh in here. 
Like it doesn't. Her smell apartment that actually good. smells so much better than your apartment. My apartment smells great. I don't you stinky. Think it smells weird. Every time I come to your apartment, I forget that you're a grown ass woman. You're with me now, so how do you guys want to go out tonight? No. Let's go to a no, restaurant. she just joined a sorority. I know, I want to know how Russia is and how are the girls shooting Oh! You. The best part about rushing, I have to say, is the dressing. Like the cute little dresses. I put bows in my hair. I showed you I looked like... Yeah, you, you're very tan right I know. now. Okay, actually, we do need to talk about something. And I So you guys drove all the way here to give me some news? Mom and Dad want you to come to Philadelphia with us this weekend. Oh, and this weekend? Yeah. This weekend, you guys. School just started. I just joined a sorority, and you know how much of a commitment That's that right. is. We also I just have to be this weekend. Well, what's, yeah, what's so important does. this weekend that you have to miss this? I just signed up for classes. But in mom and dad, started, I get that, I, I get that, I get that. adjusting back to but school. But you're, you're gonna get right back into it the weekend after. But I literally we just got here. We haven't taken a family trip in how many years? I know, but it, I know you just got here. I just got here and like just packing all my bags and I want to It's I two days, in. two days of your life that you're gonna miss. I think this is such a classic older sister thing to do right now. Sophia and Sistine would always be with my mom and dad every weekend. Even when Sophia was in college, she'd be with my parents every weekend. But my sisters and I's relationship with our parents are completely different. I think that you should just consider it. Just think about it. I do think sometimes though, Scarlett, adulting is making decisions that sometimes you don't want to do, but you do it for the betterment of other people. I understand why Scarlett doesn't want to come and take time away from her college life right now, but I also don't agree with her entirely. There's certain times in life where you have to make sacrifices for other people, even if it's not for your benefit, and this is one of those moments. I mean, you guys, like, Dad's gonna be telling the same stories over and over again of what we've already heard since we were probably... No, we know. Do you know how many times he's told me he's like, this is the first place on this corner where I stole my first pack of cigarettes. <laughs> my dad and my mom probably repeat the same stories 300 times. And I can't tell if it's on purpose or because they actually forgot they told us. And dad's like, right here, Ricky, this guy Ricky, he punched me in the face for the first time. And that's when I knew I wanted to be a boxer. Look, I am a big fan of history. When I was here, I smoked my first cigarette by this bush next to this plant. Is this like a, a bicycle wheel? Just keep going round and round. It's like, where is this waitress from? Didn't you tell me that you- We've got to go to Victor's. <laughs> it's the best. And look at this. Like, I went to here when I was 16 years old. And my mom's like, I went to this laundry mat when I was eight. Do you want me to give an impression of Sly? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, oh, I, that girl and that girl ended up being twins at the end of the day. Wait, what? why did I give it kind of a- like, this, is, this is the- It's a true story.